this is a new kind of electron microscope that adds greatly to our ability to peer inside cells and see the ultrastructure of cells. It used to be that when you needed to, to see inside a, a, a bone or a tooth, you would use x-rays. And then we developed methods to, to look inside structures and tissues and cells with microscopes. But in order to look inside a, a tissue or a cell with a microscope, you need to cut very thin sections of it so you can shine light through it. For decades now, machines such as this, a microtome, have been used with glass knives and diamond knives to cut very thin sections of a sample, which are then brought to the microscopes. But this cutting process damages the samples. And so this new microscope adds to McGill's suite of electron microscopes that have been very efficiently used for many years. It's a microscope that allows you to slice by slice, but you're not actually cutting, you're ablating, removing tissue with a focused beam of gas. Layer by layer, you remove, you take a picture, you remove, you take a picture, you remove, you take a picture, and then, in so doing, you're able to reconstruct a three-dimensional image that allows us to determine structure of a material. And if you know structure of a material, the details of a structure, you can determine the function of a cell or a material or a protein or even atoms. Advanced electron microscopes such as this electron microscope here, plus the new instrument which we have received funding from CFI and from Quebec, um, complement a suite of electron microscopes found in McGill's Facility for Electron Microscopy Research. This, these two instruments, this one and the new one we're receiving, are unique in Canada. They're the only ones. They're very expensive instruments, and they are used primarily for cryogenic purposes, which means that we are able to look at frozen specimens, very frozen, minus 140 degrees, where molecules can be observed in their native state. For example, um, this new type of machine that we'll get with the CFI and Quebec funding allows cutting of the sections regardless of whether they're hard, soft, frozen, brittle. We can ablate, remove layer by layer and understand interfaces between soft and hard materials. For example, an orthopedic or dental implant in bone or across the gums, we can just cut right through it, image it, and understand how it's osseointegrated into bone, for example. Understanding structure at the atomic and molecular scale will allow us to, to design new materials um, based on what we've learned about their function using machines such as this. It allows investigators from across Montreal, from across the province, Canada, even internationally, to come to this facility for electron microscopy research to have their scientific needs met at the atomic and molecular level.